one aspect, they can do it. And, and let me say this. Uh, I think that this group of people is coming together with one mindset and they're coming across with one mindset all across the country to make a difference, not just for this generation, but for the next generation and for generations to come. Excuse me, sorry. To preserve the United States Constitution, to preserve and protect our rights, our freedoms, our money, and our hard work. Excuse me. From the hands of greedy government that wants to take it away from us. I think that when we come here together, good to know. we show the American, the rest of the American people, we show our government that we mean business, that we are not going to stand for a government that wants to do what it can with our rights. We have come for a purpose, and I think that we need to deliver on that purpose, and I think we're doing that here today. The United States of America uh, is not a country founded upon a government. It's the American experiment. It's the American experience. Not the government experience. Not the government experiment. This is America. This is a place for the people. This is a republic where we elect officials who work for us, not elected officials who say, you work for me, so you better pay me back. Washington, the rhetoric coming out of Washington telling us that we need to give up our money, that we need to give up our rights more and more, is not the kind of rhetoric that we need to be hearing. We need to hear more of a government that is there saying, well, what we're going to do is we're going to cut your taxes so you can use the original economic stimulus package of putting money back into the economy in the places where it needs to be. We're going to let the free market work on its own instead of telling the free market that it works for us by bailing them out and then simultaneously so what owning the company so then you can force out CEOs. That's not America. America, America is not run by the public sector. America's economy is not run by the public sector. America is run by the American people who elects those officials in Washington. Excuse me. Excuse me. And that's what we need to remember Sorry. here today. Uh, I often remember that uh, a great quote from Daniel Webster, one of my favorite poets, stood up for American rights uh, more than many. And he put it, liberty and union now and forever one and inseparable. You cannot have a nation run by the by a government that takes away your rights and expect it to prosper. You think that's gonna work? It's never worked. Take a look at communist China, take a look at Russia, take a look at France, take a look at all the countries that have adopted these philosophies, whether it be in certain sectors or in the entire country. And let me say this, it doesn't work. of the fact that this is a country that was founded by men who believe not in a uh, not entirely in a he didn't want to hear that was the entire establishment of government our government was established to fight against you this is the part of his name the Boston Tea Party in 1779 and do you remember the Boston Tea Party do you remember